The following video is sponsored by Vend-Co.com. Good day, everybody. Today, I'm going to be doing a top 10 list of Monopoly card and dice games, etc. type games. And we will go ahead and get started. Now, there's actually more than 10 games in this list. It's just some of them are very similar to each other or re-releases of another. So we'll go ahead and get started. Number 10 on the list is Monopoly Empire, the card game. Now, most of you, I'm sure, have heard of Monopoly Empire, but not the card game. And this is because this game was sold along with certain copies of Monopoly Empire as a bonus game. But the gist of this game is uh, there's going to be different companies in the game. And what you're going to be trying to do is you're going to be trying to get the same company on every card, meaning you'll have like eight of one company and that's your entire hand. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to be looking at your cards and you're going to say, okay, I want to try to get this company. And then you're going to try to trade out the other companies by lifting up cards in your hand. Say, I have two cards. I have two. I have two. Or I have three. And everybody is going to be doing this at the same time. And so anytime somebody has a number that is the same as yours, you can go ahead and trade out with them. And you're just going to keep doing this until somebody ends up getting all of one card. Now, the only thing with this game is that this game plays exactly like Pit. So there's no originality in this game at all, which is most likely why this was a bonus game. Uh, but I would just simply get pit. Uh, if you want to try to get a copy of this game, it's most likely going to cost you some money because it's rare and you have to get this with the Monopoly Empire game most likely. Uh, but I would just stick with getting pit. Number nine is Monopoly Jenga. Uh, if you're a fan of Jenga, I think you'll like this game. Uh, what you're going to be doing is you're going to have a stack of blocks and you're going to be trying to score points by getting out the different property colored blocks, like a brown block or a blue block or something like that. And uh, if you're able to get both blocks of the same color, that's going to be worth more points. And you're just trying to get the most amount of points before the tower falls over. Now, you've also got different tiles, uh, such as a chance of community chest. Uh, one of them is going to force you to have to put one of your blocks back into the tower. Um, and there's some that will allow you to uh, steal a complete property set of blocks from somebody. Uh, some will have to force you to put a block back in the tower. The neat thing about it is you don't have to put it back on the top. You can put it anywhere in the tower to try to balance it out if there is a hole. Uh, so the weird thing with this game is that it says once the tower falls over, uh, you'll go ahead and whoever knocked it over loses a point and then whoever has the highest amount is going to win. But anybody could just knock the tower over if they're ahead. So really you just have to kind of have like an honesty rule of some kind in this game. But as far as a Jenga game goes, it's pretty good. Number eight is Express Monopoly, it's the card game. Now in this game, you're going to have a little board made of two puzzle pieces. It looks like a Monopoly board. And then what you're going to be doing is you're going to be laying down property cards in front of the different properties on the board. And you're going to be trying to collect a complete set of them. And the typical way you're going to do this is let's, let's say there are three orange properties and there's two orange properties that have been played. If you happen to have the third one, you can go ahead and play it and then pick up the set. Uh, there's also chance and community chess cards, which you can move around to try to complete a set and pick those up. Uh, this is a simple little game to learn. I think people of younger ages would uh, enjoy this game. Uh, it basically fits the title well, Express. Number six are a couple of dice games, and they are Don't Go to Jail and Monopoly Express. Now, these are press your luck games, and I'll go ahead and talk about Don't Go to Jail first. Uh, what you're going to be doing is you've got all these different uh, property sets here on a board and you've got all these dice that have these different colors on them representing uh, those property sets. And what you're going to do is you're going to roll them and you're going to be able to set dice aside to try to complete the sets and anytime you complete a set you're going to have an opportunity to score points. But you have to watch out for the three police officer dice. Uh, if you end up rolling three police officers, uh, that's going to basically negate everything that you have done. So that's what makes it a pressure luck game. Uh, now, with the Monopoly Express version, they've added houses, they've added a hotel die, they've added a couple of things to jazz the game up some. So I prefer that one over Don't Go to Jail. But for pressure luck games, I think you'll like them. Six is a card game called Monopoly Bid. Uh, in this game, you're going to be trying to complete three color sets, and mainly what you're going to be doing is you're going to be using money cards to, to bid on uh, the different property cards that show up. Now, you also have action cards that you can play in this game. You've got wild cards that you can use. Um, you've got uh, prop cards that will allow you to steal a property card. Um, you also have cancel cards. If someone tries to play an action card, you can go ahead and cancel it. And typically what you're going to do is you're going to flip over the property card. You'll look at how much money you have, and you can just decide what you want to bid. You'll slam the cards down at the same time, and whoever has the most amount is going to go ahead and pick up the property. So there's a lot of back and forth that goes on in this game, and it's another one of those games that you can learn really quickly take with you. It plays pretty fast too. It's a pretty good little game, Monopoly Bid. 
number five is a card game called Free Parking. Now in Free Parking, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be trying to be the first player to score a certain amount of points, and it comes in two phases. Um, you have a meter that goes up to 60 minutes, and you have cards that will allow you to feed the minute, meter's money. So if you had a card that said 20 minutes, you could play that and then move the meter up to 20 minutes. And then you, what you'll have is a point card, which is going to cost you 20 minutes. So then you can go ahead and play that in front of you and then go ahead and put your meter back to zero. So you've got those two different types of cards that you can play and you're trying to get the most points uh, before anybody else does. Now uh, there's also cards that you can play on your opponents that will make their time meter go to zero. You can play cop cards on them. And there's also a little deck of orange cards which you can uh, draw if you would like to and those cards can either be good for you or bad for you there could be a card that says that's uh, bring your meter back up to 60 minutes which is good there could be another one that says bring your meter down to zero or give up a property card uh, there's one that says you have to trade seats with your opponent or trade hands with them um, so they could lose everything that they've done if they end up drawing that so it's a cool game um, it plays really well and uh, I like the mechanics of it it's pretty cool number four is a game called waterworks and uh, this is a pipe building game. You're trying to build uh, 15 pieces of pipe first. There's a whole bunch of different pieces in the game. Uh, some curve like this, some are straight, others split off, which you have to cap one end of them. And uh, you're just simply trying to build a line of pipe and be the first one to complete it. Now, there are cards you can play on your opponent, which are the leaky pipe cards, and you can either play it on um, a card similar to the shape that he already has laid on or you can play it in front of that card which can really uh, mess them up uh, because if they're trying to go in a certain direction to get to the final the spigot which you have to connect to the spigot as well um, that could really mess them up because then they have to try to build back uh, so this is a back and forth game. Uh, it's a fun game for sure, Waterworks. Number three is Monopoly Hotels. And in Monopoly Hotels, you're gonna be the, try to become the first player uh, to build up a hotel with five floors um, and a room. Now this is a game where you can help yourself and hurt your opponent. You can try to uh, charge your opponent rent, but at the same time, you can also play a card against him to uh, make his room messy to where he has to get it fixed. You can actually demolish part of his hotel. Uh, so there's a lot of back and forth that goes on in this game until somebody is able to complete uh, the entire hotel. Uh, if you like games like this, where you're having to figure, okay, do I want to help myself? How do I want to hurt my opponent? Um, a lot of back and forth in this game, and it's pretty fun, Monopoly Hotels. Number two is Monopoly the card game. Now, this is a card game that plays a lot like Rummy, uh, but it has a lot of different things in it. Uh, mainly what you're going to be doing is you're going to be trying to uh, get complete sets of colors uh, in your hand, and they're going to be worth certain amounts of money. Uh, you can also collect houses and hotels, which will be worth even more money if you're able to use them in the set. Uh, there's also token cards, which are worth a certain amount of money, and then free parking. Uh, if you have the most amount of those, you'll be able to get the free parking $500 that comes with the game. Um, and so what you're trying to do is you're trying to get at least one property set, but all of the other cards have to be playable when you lay it down. After your opponent ends up going out, uh, you'll be able to go down with what you have and then everybody's going to collect the money that they earned. And then whoever has the most amount of money at the very end is going to win the game. For a Rummy game, it's very cool. Uh, I really like it a lot. I, only thing is the token cards can be rather powerful so you may want to have a rule to where you can only get one token card because they're worth a thousand dollars each um, but you know it's a very easy thing to fix if you would like to make that variant but a very good game monopoly the card game and finally number one is monopoly deal and i'm going to throw monopoly millionaire deal in here uh, just simply because it plays exactly like monopoly deal the only difference is uh what you're supposed to do with it in monopoly deal you're going to be trying to build a complete set of three properties and a lot of this game you're going to be collecting cards laying down cards and then there's uh, cards um, that you're going to be laying down uh, for money, making a bank, and then you have action cards you can either play to help yourself out or to hurt your opponent. So it's a very good back and forth game. And I put this number one uh, because there's a lot of people that like this game that don't necessarily like Monopoly. It's a good card game. With Monopoly Millionaire Deal, the difference in this is that whoever ends up making a million dollars first is going to win. So guys, that is my list of Monopoly card and dice etc. games. We'll see you later. Keep on gaming. Need extra income? Check out this opportunity. You can invest in a vending machine from vend-co.com and they will place it in a business or office for you. You keep all the money that the machine makes. For more information, check out the link in the description.